You want guys? Where are we going? Okay, you in the middle. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Okay, Luke, can you start us off, please? Brendan, another Champions League campaign. How much are you looking forward to this one now? Yeah, I'm very excited. Look, it's uh, the guys have worked extremely hard last year for the qualification, so uh, it's 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 what you play for to to arrive in the top competition, top players, top coaches, top managers, and uh, we're really excited about it. How confident are you that Celtic can be competitive in this Champions League group? Very. I think it's one where anything is possible in it. You know, people ask and, and ask you to forecast what it is you want to do and what it is you want to achieve. But I think that, uh, you know, how we want to play the game and, and with our competitive spirit. And that's important in the Champions League because you're playing against top teams. And, and we've seen it already this season. That the, the spirit of this team will never be broken. And you have to have that at, at, at this level. Uh, when you're a team like ourselves coming into it when people want to dismiss you in the tournament. So so for us, it's about being competitive. Like you say, we have to work very hard. You have to work very smart. And uh, and let's see where it takes us. First up, it's fine. So how tough a challenge will this one be then? Yeah, I think any team at this level is always very, very difficult. I don't think there's uh, an easy game here. And obviously, uh, being Dutch champions of the great history of this country and producing teams and players. So we know the challenge. But, um, but for us... We're, uh, we're looking forward to it, and it's the first game of six, and uh, yeah, let's see where it takes us. Brendan, what would success be for Celtic in this competition? Well, I think success for us as a club is to, as I said, is to be in Europe after Christmas. I think that uh, that, that is what our aim is, you know, whatever competition that is in. Uh, as long as we're in Europe after after Christmas, that is uh, that is our aim. But like I said, anything is possible in the group and um, like I said, we, uh, we we look to be competitive in all the games. Given the finances and, and top flight football at the moment, how important is it that this club is consistently involved in Champions League football? Well, of course, that, that goes without saying, I think, uh, you, but domestically you have to, you have to win your league uh, in order to have that possibility to be in there. And of course, when you, when when you are at this level, this elite level, then of course the finances that come with that, they allow you to to allow your club to grow and develop on and off the pitch. So um, so yeah, it's but you have to earn that right on the pitch, and, and once you do that, then uh, everything else follows that. How much are you relishing this on a personal level? Because I think you made it fairly clear that this was one of the big reasons for you making a return to Celtic. Well, it was one of a number of of reasons. I think that. Um, to be involved in European football is 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 a great experience as a coach, and obviously to lead this this group of players into into European football and into the the highest level is obviously it's a I'm very proud to do that. So, um, but for us, we like I said, we want to go in and, and make an impact, and uh, that's what we'll look to do starting from tomorrow. Brendan, um, obviously. Since you've come back in, you've played a certain style of football. You've always been a flexible manager throughout the years. Do you have to adapt on these European nights? Are we likely to see something slightly different from what we've seen domestically so far from you? Or do you think it'll be the same brand of football, the same formation, same tactics? No, listen, we're not at peak Celtic is what I would say. And, and we've got a long way to go before, you know, I, I think we'll be where I, I'm happy, where I want us to be. However, what the players have shown... Is that flexibility in terms of style? I don't think there's a there's a massive difference in terms of of how they've been the players have been asked to work. I just think it just takes time and, and understanding and uh, for that to grow. And, and obviously, of course, uh, it's about players as well. You, you bring players back into the the squad that are injured, then of course the football can look different because you maybe have more dynamism and and more flexibility and more movement. But I think in terms of stylistically at this level, we want to play the game to our DNA, which is to be aggressive when we're attacking and to have that conviction when we attack. And that all comes from when you defend. You have to have that collective responsibility and that collective uh, resilience. And if you have that in your defending, then you can look to show that 
in your, your attack and play. So uh, we know there's times you're going to be under pressure, especially away from home. And uh, but of course we want to uh, we want to give Feyenoord a problem when we have the ball as well. Just going back to to what you said to Chris, you said that success would be European football after Christmas. Now that would be an improvement on last year. The, the team received plaudits for the way they played, but obviously didn't get out of the group at all. Do you, have you looked back at those games that the team played last year? And and if so, where do you think they need to improve? What have you addressed? What have you needed to address? in terms of these European games in the team? Listen, I've looked back at all the, the goals that were conceded last year, but I'm, I'm fully aware, having experienced it with, with Celtic before, what the, the issues are at this, this level. I mean, the issues are very, very simple. The game moves quicker. The speed of the game at this level is, uh, is different. And, of course, the quality that you're up against. So if you're not moving quite as well domestically or filling spaces, then you may be able to get away with it. At this level, you don't. It's elite players with speed, high level technique and tactical ability that can uh, that can hurt you. So it's just small details at this level. You know, on the on the, the offensive side, it's about taking opportunities. You know, I've seen a, a, enough of the games last last year where the guys played really, really well and uh and, and those the, the finishing at this level has to be precise and has to be clinical. And I think uh that's something that is, is always the case at this level. Just finally for me, injury-wise, how's the squad looking? Nat Phillips came off at half-time at the weekend. Is he fit to start? Is anyone else not available or, or available that hadn't been previously? Yeah, Nat has... Um, he's obviously... He's rolled his ankle, so we just have to uh, see on that. Um, but other than that, pretty much uh, guys are fine. They're working their way up to, to fitness. And, uh, yeah, apart from that, we're OK. Brendan, just uh, one from me. In the record Celtic have had in terms of results over a period has maybe not been good. If you're talking a lot about performance and what, how you have to go about it. What do you think Celtic fans can expect in terms of getting results at this level now? It was very difficult. I think, you know, if you're talking over the last 20 odd years, 22 years or so, the game has evolved so much. You know, and and the challenges are there to to see. You know, you, you see the levels of teams, you see the levels of players. But for us, what we can promise is that we'll fight in every single game. And uh, we want, like I said, we want to compete. We want to be competitive. And and that is all I can promise. And from that, we play to the level that we can. Then we know that we can cause teams a problem. So. Um, I can promise no more than that. And uh, But like I said, if we can produce that level of work ethic and the, and the quality that we do have, I think we can cause teams problems and uh, that will be our aim. Is there any more questions for the manager before we open? Yes. Bendy, you spoke in one of your early answers about people being slightly dismissive is that is can that be a positive thing can can you use that to to, to kind of like rally the, the team in some ways yeah listen it's not that i'm i'm not one to look to demonize anyone it's 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 for ourselves it's for our pride it's for our club's pride the story that that media or anyone else will will write it's not our story you know i understand the logic of and, and where the game is moving and where it has moved in, in the years that Celtic get criticised. But uh, but for me, it's we're here, we're in the competition and we want to fight to do as well as we possibly can in it. And that's our own self-pride as, as players and coaches and it's our pride in our football club to, to fight for the results. So uh, So that's where the motivation comes from. Good evening, uh, Mr. Rogers. Good I'm evening. Dennis from Dutch Television. I have three questions, if that's uh, if that's possible. Yes, no worries. Um, it's a match with a huge history, especially here in Rotterdam. Uh, Find won their first the first Dutch European trophy against Celtic. What was the reception in 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 Scotland after the draw? Well, we were obviously very happy with the with the group. We're playing against teams with a, a great history. Like I said earlier, I think the. Uh, the competition is full of elite teams, you know, champions of their own countries, or certainly, if not champions, teams that are very close to being champions.
But of course, the Celtic Fine Ord from 1970, it's a, it's a huge history. And obviously, the, the connection here with, uh, with the likes of Wim Janssen, who was an incredible manager for Celtic at that uh, at a time. And obviously, a, you know, a, a very historical player here for, for Holland and, and for Fine Ord. So, uh, so, yeah, so it was, it was really nice when we got the draw. We know it, from a football perspective, it's a tough game playing against a champion. But, uh, but the draw we were, we were really happy with to be playing against some very good teams. You mentioned Wim Janssen. There are a couple of books there uh, laying for, uh, uh, to pay tribute. And you also went to Celtic Park to pay your tribute after his, his passing, right? How, how was that? Well, no, I, I, I actually wasn't there, no. But uh, I was down in, in England. But I, I'm fully aware of, of Wim's contribution to Celtic for that season he was there, what he what he did and what he gave the club and and how he will always be revered uh, from the Celtic family. What are your thoughts finally to close it off on uh, the current squad of Feyenoord? Clearly very good. Champion, scoring uh, scoring goals and, and playing very, very well. Obviously Arnie's done a, a really, really good job since he's come into here and and transforming the team to challenge Ajax, and uh, but uh, but yeah, they play a very very good level of football. Some fantastic players, so we really look forward to the challenge home and away in this competition. Thank you. Thank you. Final did not play in the Champions League for six years. Only three players had experience. Experience uh, is it an advantage, advantage for Celtic? Do you think? For advantage for playing the Champions League. It's not about advantage, you know. It's we we qualify for the competition, and it's it's a great experience. Like you said, we have a lot of young players playing that will be sampling the uh, the occasion, you know, for for the first time. We've got really experienced players like Joe, who who understand what this level means, having played at the highest level all his career. So, um, so for me, as as a coach, it's about using. Those in experiences, experiences to come and uh, and go and prove yourself and uh, and play without any fear. Okay, um, moving on to questions for Joe, please. Joe, for fans, it's it's always a, a special time of the season when the Champions League comes around. Maybe describe to us what is what it means to compete in the Champions League as a player. Um, it's an amazing competition. Um, one that you you grow up watching, you grow up enjoying. Uh, myself personally, when I was growing up, you didn't have that much access to, to European football. So in terms of league football, obviously it's quite easy with YouTube and various channels now. But um, I can only talk from being a young guy watching the Champions League, the excitement, the music. That doesn't change, you know. I'm I'm still that kid. I'm still a human being, as as we all are, as I'm sure it is for a fan. Um, it's their special nights. The football seems to change, as the manager just touched on there. The the speed of the game is is electric, um, and the hype is real. It's it's it definitely it lives up to it. The competition every year. There's um amazing football being played. Uh, you know the way the battles take place on the pitch in terms of matchups are, you know, they're breathtaking now. So it's a great competition to be a part of. The manager said that he believes that you guys as a squad are ready. Um, how do you feel and how far do you think this squad can progress in this competition? Look, we're, we're ready to go at it. Um, I've only been here two previous seasons and, and played in Europe both times and we felt like um, we've been as prepared as we could be, um, as strong as we can be and, and I feel like that now. We've got a really hungry group of players. We've got a bunch of players and staff who you know who want to do well. We've obviously got a club and, and a support network that that wants us to do well. Um, we've all got to link arms and just go for it. Joe, given that, then what lessons can you learn from last year that you can take into this year and improve on? Um, you know, I think I think this line comes out a lot in this competition, and I've heard it for years, and especially when I was first coming into it um, from the more experienced players, it's it's. It's it's really clinical both ends. You know the the competition's going to be tight. There's all sorts of different styles, but um, taking chances and um, you know defending defending your box 
as best you can when it when it ultimately will come under pressure. It's, it's quite a simple formula, but you know, as we all know, if, if if it was that simple, everyone would do it. But we'll see. We're, like I say, we we train hard, we work hard, um, and we're we're going to give it our best. Any more questions for Joel? Joe, what does it mean to you personally still to be playing at this elite level? You talk about you're still that kid inside, you get excited. What, what does it mean to you personally now having played at this for, for over a decade, this level? Everything. Um, amazing. Uh, truly a joy to still be a part of this competition. Um, I don't think I've ever set myself goals um, because I'm a very present person and a very present player. But um, yeah, if you'd have asked me if I necessarily would have been doing this at, um, at my age, then I probably would have... I would have struggled to give you a definitive yes. So from that point of view, I'm very pleased. But from a, a present me, I feel like I should be here. Um, I love being here. love being part of the team that I'm a part of. And um, I can't wait to, to hopefully take it on tomorrow night. OK, can the Scottish newspapers meet us outside? And we'll... Thank you very much. <laughs>